Hi guys, welcome to my very first episode of a new series and this series is called Smash It and today we are going to um, play the recording from another phone yeah because this is, I this game in my own phone so I need another phone to record and now I'm going to play the recording and I record like that so yeah so without anything let's get started so that we will play. Okay. That's the very first level here. I'm gonna start. Basically, this game has three kinds of. Uh, this is just getting you started. Uh. So this game has three kinds of the what? Three kinds of crystals. The first crystal is the what you see here, the triangular one, which gives you three bars, additional two, because you need one one shot to hit it. Okay, you want to touch, throw the ball at the button to open the door. Yeah, I almost missed that crystal. Every ten, when you shoot, uh, oh yeah, when you hit a crystal, every ten crystals you hit it all you will get multiple balls now I have 3 per shot maximum is 5 yeah so you need 50 crystals without missing one then you can get that well you can see the bar here you can see that there's a bar yeah that is indicating the number of crystals you hit if you miss a crystal it will reset all and it will be one ball left yeah, back to one bar. Here, there's another bar. This is the level. That means uh, the level is going to finish. Oh. If this one is going to finish there, the next level, the next level. That means level two. Oh, okay. So, I need to open the door by touching these two buttons. Now, it's checkpoint one already because we're over the bar. Okay. So, that is here is still the first type of crystal is the triangle one which is yeah giving you three bars there's a diamond shaped one which gives you five bars additional four um that's a uh, what a star shaped one which gives you ten bars additional nine so yeah the very first level is just like that you just it's just getting you the basics moving things moving slowly you just need to hit it when it wants to hit you it's quite easy but here comes the DNA part you need to hit it it's quite easy but sometimes um, when it's turning in an angle it's very hard for here I have multiple balls so I can shoot two bars at a time or three bars <laughs> yeah it's rotated in the angle you can see the DNA so sometimes it can penetrate through so you must hit the second shot here I'm resting yeah it's good to have breaks here and there <laughs> so I can talk during my videos here yeah sometimes you have multiple balls you can hit the second bar down there but now I do not hit the second bar yeah this DNA there is uh, just to distract you that you don't need to hit it because it will not hit you yeah I'm now trying to like what? this DNA and yeah it's trying to distract you here look at it um, because I have multiple balls so one shot I can get lots of crystals like one shot three to three crystals or two crystals at a time yeah so it's good to have more balls per shot okay here is just you need to hit the middle thing but if you want to hit the middle swinging thing you must hit it right at the time you cannot hit it early because if you hit it too early it will smash you and it swings back you can see that when I throw the ball you hit it uh, swing back then later on it will swing swing to us yeah so must hit it at 
exactly at the time. Now it's checkpoint two. Here is getting a bit a little bit tough as this one swing stop swing stop swing stop swing stop. So it's very hard for you to aim. Yeah, look at it. Now here the screen suddenly comes out from the floor. So you must watch out for that. When it comes out, it just hit the middle. Yeah, this it's quite easy. Yeah, this part. But it's quite hard to aim with the arm. But again, still give you slow time. Look at it. They are still moving very slowly. So you still can. Yeah. But for this part, it's quite hard because it's shifting up and down. Go up and go down. So it's very hard to aim. Because there's also gravity pulling the, your ball down. So I missed that part. Look at it. <laughs> Once I hit an obstacle in minus 10 balls away, and it resets all of my uh, balls. Now I have back to one ball. Yeah, this part, look at it. I missed it because it's very hard to aim. But hit the button to open the door, but I failed <laughs> to hit the button. Here, you see that there's a lot of crystals in a row, two crystals in a row. Sometimes you have multiple balls, you can just shoot one shot and and the ball can hit two crystals, multiples of them. It, now I have multiple balls already, so you can see how I did it. Okay. Okay, here is quite hard to see, but here you can see that my shot, yeah, look at it, it kills off. Here the game say, oh, you need to open the door, focus on the ball, <laughs> and the door, and they put a crystal there, basically, <laughs> to let you miss it, but I did not miss it. Here it gets a little faster, and have double of those annoying doors, but <laughs> yeah, you just need to watch out, but it's letting you quite have to aim. Right. But now I have multiple balls, it's easier to break those breaking those is better now I have a special power this game has three types of special power your maximum can hold only four special power if you get the fifth one the top will be deleted I have an invisible one here it's hardly to see that one invisible one that is the second one now I can use the first one yeah and there you can see that the game say you are focusing on the bar and they put a crystal and a power up there <laughs> and basically the bar is blocking you from hitting it so you must get lucky when your ball hit the wall and bounce back up. but the ball hit the wall and bounce back and hit the power up. so i get the power up. here's a checkpoint area giving you lots of crystals to get you Oh, get you back all your crystals. Here's me resting. Yeah, now I have three. I always keep three power ups with me. There's three types of power ups, so I continue with the power ups. The first type is unlimited bar, which is this green color one. The second type is timer to slow the, your time down. The third one is the fire bar, which explodes. Yeah, this is the unlimited bar. It is about 5 seconds, then it runs out. But I always keep 3 with me. So the fourth one later I will use. Like now. Yeah, I use it now. You can basically use this unlimited bar. Because it is unlimited. But has timing. Uh. It's, yeah. That one down there, the turning thing is going to crush you that time. You then knock it in the middle. Here is me making you distracted but it will knock you but for here you must knock just now I knock a little bit to center and that side not me <laughs> yeah basically and here the crystal is in your way you must uh, destroy the crystal uh, not destroy get the crystal we not it will add as, a, add as obstacles to hit and you minus 10 balls now I have an extra power so I will use it basically the exploding ball well, when you throw one ball, racing one of your shots, you must still waste your shots. It will explode. 
basically. Yeah, it splash away damage. But for the timer, it will slow the time down. For this part, you can see that when I hit, it will swing back. Yeah, the first one I feel because it swing back and hit me. So when you when you are playing this level, you must watch out until you want to hit it the time that you fire a, a shot. Okay, yeah, that's very important. For this part, you just yeah knock the string there to break it. Okay, you can review the footage how I do it. For this swinging bar, because it's swinging too fast, so wait until it need to hit you that time, then you fire a shot. Okay, so now two buttons to open the door. Here is a little task as the game turns you 360 degrees in a twist, and you don't know where the gravity is pulling your ball down. So for here, you must like this swinging bar thing wait until it needs to hit you that time that you hit it may not it's very hard to aim because it's swinging too fast moving too fast here because the crystals are all around you don't know where the gravity is pulling you down it's very hard to aim yeah so I still manage to aim for here yeah I missed the crystal because I do not know where the gravity is pulling here is the second power up, the timer, which slows the time down. You need to waste your shots on it. Uh. That means you slow the time down for you to aim. But the ball travels very slow because the ball also slow down with it because the time is long. Slow down. Yeah. Now for here is the laser and here is the falling glass. The falling glass basically when it falls down you make need it to topple over faster. So you just knock it. For the laser, you need to hit the glass, a purple glass bar by the side to shut it down. Yeah, there. Falling glass again. Then, when it falls down, you hit the top to let it topple down faster. Yeah, because when it topple down slowly, let you hit it and minus ten balls for you. Yeah, look at it. So you must watch out. Here is the diamond shaped crystal which gives you 5 balls additional 4 balls because you need to waste a shot on it yeah so yeah falling glass it's quite dangerous huh? so you need to destroy the falling glass first so yeah you are better okay so basically I will end the episode now so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.